You guys have been on a lot of stuff. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a fan. Hopefully you get a lot of great. callers. Yeah, well, hopefully. Yeah. You're Skyler. Yes, I'm Skyler. Yes, yes. yes. And, and you must you must be Steve, right? What's up, buddy? Do you have like your voicemail on speakerphone or something? What am I hearing? But no, that's our guests, Ben and Matt. Oh. They're, they're right here. Oh, tell them I said, hey guys, you, you almost here? No, they're right. They're right here. Steve, Steve. I'm down here, buddy. Steve. I can't look into a phone. Just tell them, hey guys, no, I'm not I can hear you loud and clear. No, it's not, it's not clear, fellas. It's not speakerphone. They're standing right here in front of you, Steve. So oh, God. Inside. I'm oh. dead inside. Uh, my question is for Matt about what it was like being on Scrubs and Criminal Minds. Oh, well, Scrubs was fantastic. They were all super nice. But and Criminal Minds wasn't? Is that what you're suggesting? <laughs> well, I'm getting there, Steve. Oh, okay. Steve. All right. <laughs> Criminal Minds was actually, gosh, no, I'm just kidding. Criminal Minds was really cool. I worked with Matthew Gray Goobler all day. Super nice guy. Very smart. And it was funny, actually, most of the day for Criminal Minds, we spent learning those chess moves. Um, we Like, I don't know if anybody out there knows this, but a chess move is considered your move and the other person's move. Uh. So we had about 20 moves, which is, like, in combination, like, that's 40 moves for us to memorize. We had to learn it in, like, 10, 15 minutes. Mm, wow. Fun. And plus we were outdoors and there were parrots <laughs> were jumping and <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. That. Yeah. Oh, and I had this windbreaker that kept going <laughs> every time I moved. Oh, uh, well, that's fun. Matt so just I, did an adorable little jig. He did, if you were watching. Um, yeah, sort of like Conan's string dance. But yes. It was. <laughs> but sexier. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. I would gladly go back. Cool. Well, thanks for the call, Tyler. You would glad to go back. Did you do any uh, chess research for that? Um, yeah, I, I actually I did. I watched right. um, Searching for Bobby Fischer. It's okay. one of my favorite you, movies, anyway. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to like bring my Reebok pumps to. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what pumps. he wears in the movie. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. I have to say, on uh, Big Time Rush, I loved the thing that they had you strapped into with the uh, laptop. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> did they let that you was... uh, keep that? No. Oh. And I didn't get the cardboard cutout either. Oh. But apparently, that cutout is at um. Paramount, I think that's who produced it, Paramount Studios, and they have it leading people to auditions, is the cardboard really? cutout of me. Wow. And it says, big time rush auditions this way, but my face is looking so stern at people. <laughs> it's like, good luck. <laughs> like, good luck. <laughs> I actually have a question for the band in the studio, actually. I noticed that you were on an episode of Psych, which is one of my favorite all-time sitcoms. I wanted to know, what was it like working with the cast, like Dulé Hill and James Roday? Oh, Psych was a blast. I was up in Van... The show shoots in Vancouver, and I shot that in, I think, May of 07. Um, and it, it's a really cool cast. Uh, I find oftentimes that when you do uh, a show that's been running for a while, sometimes it's tough to sort of ingratiate yourself with... Uh, you know the rest of the cast. They've they've sort of got a system going. Yeah. Uh, but I found that that group of people to just be very welcoming, uh, very cool. I think James Roday is one of the uh, most talented actors I think I've worked with. He's so quick on his feet, got a photographic memory. I mean, they were we'd be rehearsing a scene. We would be about to shoot a scene right before they call action, and he was uh, you know he was rehearsing lines for a scene next day. And then he immediately bounces into the the lines for the dialogue we were doing wow. for wow. for the scene. Dulé wow. was super cool. Um, that was a great experience. I was probably up there for about two two and a half weeks. So. Nice, wow. real yeah. nice. Did you get vacation time? I did, and I think there was a Canadian holiday while I was up there, uh. so I got like paid during. Oh, was the it Canadian like Boxing holiday? Day? Nice. I don't know. I think it was Queen Victoria Day. Is that a, is oh, that a holiday? Oh yes. Yeah? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yes. No, and it was also really cool too. Like you know. Anytime you get to travel for a role, I think is it's pretty exciting because you yeah. get to sort of experience culture. I don't know if you've been to Vancouver, but no, it's a... I've never b shot on location or been invited anywhere. <laughs> oh, you've never been invited anywhere. <laughs> Wait, no. you want to come over later and like play checkers or something, just or? to break the streak? I don't know what that means. <laughs> does having to get to Long Beach by uh, eight a.m. does that count as traveling for a role? Because, no, uh, ooh, I did that once. <laughs> Now, you guys are working on a web series together, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm producing a, a new web series called Awkward Universe. Excellent. Uh, now's a good time to plug. If you want to go to Awkward Universe on Twitter, mm -hmm. uh, we could use some followers. Um, but if you go to awkwarduniverse.com, it's got the Facebook and the yeah, Twitter links Yeah, awkwarduniverse.com. Right. You mean you have a few spaces left for followers. <laughs> exactly. Yes, right. A few more spots to fill with followers. Uh, no, but it's very exciting. We're we're doing um, these little awkward vignettes of awkward situations that people deal with on a daily basis, and uh, I'm in one of them. Matt's in one of them. I'm producing, and um, you know we've got 
we, we really think it's going to be great branded content. Ultimately, mm-hmm. we'd love to pair it up with, uh, you know, a big brand and, you know, sort of advertise the brand through our awkward content. Um, but so mass- it's, it's all awkward, right? It's, all, we're it's all very awkward, yeah. How long is each uh, vignette going to be? Uh, what you know, thirty seconds. Like, they're real short. It's like okay, thirty to, to a minute. Yeah. Matt's in one for us called "Wet Crotch Clarification." <laughs> uh, and, and you have Ben and Berman too, the other web series. Yeah, this is a web series we've been working on for for a while. We've uh, pitched it around as a TV show, actually, mm-hmm. to a lot of great places. Too. Yeah, we went into. Uh, we almost sold it to Comedy Central. They almost bid on it about a year ago. We we hope to take it back there. Mm-hmm. Um pitch to FX and Spike and we even have an animated version of the series right now so oh, cool. that's also Ben and com if you mm-hmm. want to check it's a very that funny out. trailer I checked it yeah, out yeah yeah we're going to be releasing a lot of the web content uh, within the next couple of months um, and then we hope to you know ultimately uh, sell it as a TV show nice yeah. how much have you shot of it so far we shot 12 web episodes so we've Ooh. got about an hour of of footage, cool. Uh, you know, it was almost like shooting half a feature. So it's it's been a lot of post production, but we're we're really proud of it. It's pretty slick, and we got a, a really uh, really fantastic team of people involved with it. You do a lot of writing, Ben, right? You, you you've got like a comedy script going. Yeah, got... I'm writing a, um, a romantic comedy mm-hmm. uh, screenplay right now with my buddy Sean and uh, my writing partner, and um, also working on a pilot right now. I just feel like you know, uh, as an actor, you can always sort of get stuck in these short guy roles or you can you know you I, I use it as my bread and butter mm-hmm. but at the same time i like to work on my own stuff that's going to allow me to play roles that maybe i think i can play but the industry doesn't necessarily see me as mm-hmm. yet uh yeah i've started to sort of break out with some of that stuff um i i did a, a guest spot on bones and house last year mm-hmm. uh, and both of those allowed me to oh yeah you were a porn director i was a porn one. director on house Whoa. Yeah. that was Whoa. exciting they actually, sorry they, america they did but research it's true. they did research on a on an actual <laughs> actual porn set and they like had notes to to go over with me when i got this so the, the, the executives did uh or yeah the like the director wow. went to a porn set and weird it was, they well, are that, very just, serious I mean, that about was their work. That was just the worst day. <laughs> <laughs> worst day He's like, yeah. oh man, I yeah. just need to do this Ugh. research. Yeah, it was. Uh, that you was, need that me was to cool. go where? But no, those fine. those were exciting because you know it started to break out a lot of that short guy stuff. Sure. I still love doing that, but yeah. it's nice to be able to sort of expand the net, right? And uh, and show that I can do other stuff too. Yeah, and you were a cop on Bones, which is. That was exciting. That was very oh, cool. And you asked if I had a tiny sheriff outfit, and I said I did. no. I did. I actually I and went you had to go buy it. I bought a uh, tiny sheriff. I bought a sheriff outfit well, for the he's audition. Tiny. <laughs> they made you buy your own. <laughs> oh, for the audition. Point. No, yeah. What I I like to actually when I go into an audition, I like to you know not absurdly go there, but I, I do like to wear stuff that's indicative of so the you role. Cop sure. Yeah. I mean, I feel like producers have a hard enough time casting roles you may as well give them something visual to look at that's going to help them envision you as a role. sure yeah so i had a question and it was uh when you're working with somebody who you admire i was wondering how you handled that oh, mm, oh. Good question um like it will if it if, if it's easy it's easy then so i mean yeah i mean when i work with people i admire i try not to fan out too much i've mm-hmm. done that before you don't ask for their autograph while you're in the scene with them. When you were working with <laughs> Nate Hartley, <laughs> oh, I never did, worked with Nate Hartley. How did that actually, go? I didn't work with him. Oh no, oh. I did briefly, but I um that was really fun. But like, I'm I'm a huge fan of Patricia Heaton, Neil Flynn, who was in Scrubs. I never got oh, yeah. to work with him. Mm-hmm. So you know, you just kind of you joke around a little bit, but not too much yeah. where it's creepy. Mm-hmm. I find that it's actually you know I I'll watch a bunch of episodes of whatever show I'm about to do. And I don't watch a whole lot of TV regularly, so uh, you know when you see them for the first time, you give them this very warm, friendly, "Hey, how's it going?" Oh, right. you've never met me before, and <laughs> right, I feel right. like I feel like I know you very well because you, I've just yeah, spent just a week don't watching make you. It awkward, <laughs> right? right. Um, but I think by and large, uh, most of the the people I've worked with have been very accommodating and very cool. And yeah, uh, yeah, they usually are, which makes it easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Didn't you say that Neil Flynn's like the master of put downs? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's, it's really awesome when you meet someone super funny. Like I always tell, can tell how funny people are by the the way they can put you down. <laughs> they can do it really well without sounding like a jerk. They're super funny. Yeah. Neil nice. Flynn and I would joke around all the time, and he, <laughs> I, I have a funny story. One time he was like, "Hey Matt, come over here. I want to talk to you." And I, I was eating. Because I'm always eating on set. He's like, I want to talk to you. He's, I'm like, yeah. And he's like, uh, so I want to talk to you about being a series regular in the middle. I'm like, oh, okay. He's like, yeah, it's never going to happen. Oh. <laughs> I laughed so hard, though. <laughs>